All right, so what you're going to see in this video is Shelby Humane, now alumni, Bug. Um, he's going to teach you guys how to do uh, some tricks so that you can uh, work with some other dogs to get their AKC novice trick title. So there are going to be 12 exercises in this video. You only need to film 10 of them. Uh, and they're kind of in order that makes the most sense logistically. Uh, as far as being able to perform them uh, with your dog kind of back to back. Um, but you can always skip around if you want to. There's no issue with that. Uh, but you do need to film this. And also you will need to get a form uh, from either somebody on staff or you can email uh, somebody and they can send you a copy. Uh, so that way we can check off um, the tasks that your dog did. As long as we have them on film, uh, then an evaluator can watch the film and submit the dog for their AKC novice trick title. So again, you only need to do 10. There's 12 on this video. Uh, and if you get stuck on any, you can always ask for help. But it is going to be helpful to have someone else film this for you. So that way we can, um, we can get their title. And you can use food or toys um, for this level. So enjoy and have fun. And um, Enjoy Bug teaching you how to do some tricks. First exercise is going to be teaching our dog to sit. Uh, it's going to be pretty simple. You're just going to show the dog a treat, bring it right to its nose, uh, and lift it above its head where his eyes will go up and then his butt will go down. Um, so we're just going to be a simple lifting of the treat uh, will encourage the dog to go into a sit. Okay. We're going to do sit. Yeah. Next trick is going to be shaking hands. Um, so this is going to start with the dog in a sit. We're going to show them a treat, so let them smell it and lick it. Then we're going to move the treat from their nose to about their shoulder area, uh, and then back to their nose, back to their other shoulder. So kind of in a small little arching motion. Uh, what we want the dogs to think is that there's a moving treat in front of their face, uh, and they start to lift their hand to kind of stop the treat. When you see them lift their hand, Take your hand and put it right underneath theirs or even just touch it and then say yes and treat. Um, if they look like they're not interested in it, uh, just move on to another trick and then come back to it. Uh, once they realize that we have food, they may be more interested and more motivated to perform the trick. Yeah. Shaking hands. Good. Yeah. Next trick is going to be high five. Uh, it's basically the same as shaking, except for when the dog starts to lift his paw, instead of meeting it with your palm up like it would be when you when you are shaking, uh, you're going to flip your hand where your fingers are towards the sky in a high fiving action. And then when the dog's paw touches yours, uh, yes and treat. Be <laughs> recording. High five. Yeah, that's good. good. Next trick is going to be touch. Uh, it's fairly simple. We're going to start with the dog's focus. They can be seated or standing. Uh, once you have the dog's focus, you're going to take your hand with two fingers and place it about three inches, three to six inches to the side of the dog's face. Once the dog makes contact with your fingers, then you can yes and treat. Yes. We're going to do touch. touch. Yeah. For spin, what we're going to do is we're going to lure the dog in a circle. Start by letting them smell the treat and then swing your arm around their body so they can lick the treat while they go in a full circle. Um, you can try the other direction if one seems easier than the other. You can also uh, practice walking backwards and then spinning your arm, luring the dog in a circle. Sometimes creating movement uh, will give the dog more room to uh, turn around completely. Once the dog gets in front of you where they started, then you can yes and treat. This is his trademark. Spin. Yes. Mm-hmm. For paws up, we're going to lure the dog's just front two paws onto the step. So it's best to use the picnic table uh, or one of the benches. Just be mindful of where your hand placement is because uh, we don't want him to jump up completely onto the table 
at least not until the next trick. Uh, but for now, just lure him right to where those front paws get onto the seat, and then yes and treat. Nice. We're doing paws up. Are you ready? Mm-hmm. Paws up. Or get on a uh, platform. It's very similar to paws up, except for we do want them to get all the way onto the platform. So your lure uh, can extend through the steps onto um, either a higher level or just further on to where it, it will encourage the dog to get um, all the way onto the platform. Yeah. Nice. Get up on platform. Yeah. Oh, yeah. All four paws. Right this nice. Good job. Okay. All right, so next will be the balance beam. Uh, we're going to use the luring uh, with this as well. Um, what's going to be helpful is if you would use the X pins to put on each side of the balance beam so it doesn't have so much of an unstable um, characteristic about itself. Um, so yeah, so we want it to be flat, uh, but we do want it to be a little bit elevated so it's not exactly on the ground. Uh, but all you're going to do is just lure the dog across the balance beam. You can go down and back uh, and then treat them at the end. Balance beam. Ready? Whoa. Fun. Okay. Let's go back. Yeah. For a jump, uh, we're actually going to use the balance beam. Um, so exactly how it was when you did the uh, balance beam walk, uh, we're gonna flip it up vertically. So in the video, you'll see it. We tried it the exact same way and that didn't work because he wanted to walk across it. So we set it up vertically uh, and then just lured him over it. Uh, you could also toss a treat over it um, if that's easier. Uh, as long as the dog sees the treat uh, and jumps over it and then gets it, uh, then that's fine. But if they go around the jump to get the treat, just practice luring them a little bit more directly over the jump itself. Um, we're gonna do jump. It's too low. Do jump. Yeah. For the tunnel, you're simply just gonna lure the dog towards the tunnel. Uh, once they get to it, you can either place some treats in the tunnel or show them the treat and toss it through the tunnel. If you have a partner, you could also have them on the other side kind of calling the dog or showing the dog a treat, um, but make sure the dog goes through the tunnel to get the treat. Uh, again, yeah, you can build curiosity by placing some treats in the tunnel. Just be mindful of them stopping and eating it. So try to place it towards the exit if possible. Good tunnel. Ooh, we'll try to go through and then come back. Yeah, that'd be cute. Okay. <gasps> You ready? Ready? Mm -hmm. Yes. Come on, Dad. Come on. Yeah. Kennel up. We are gonna toss some treats in the kennel so the dog goes in. All right now, what is important with this is that we release the dog to come out. So once the dog is completely in there. And if once the dog is about to come out, we're going to use the word free to let the dog know that it can come out. Um, so timing is important. It may take a couple tries to get it down, uh, but you're just going to toss treats in. Once the dog's in there and eating, wait till it turns around completely. And before it comes out, just say the words free. And then once the dog comes out, you can pet on it and love on it. Okay, we're going to do kennel up now. Ready? Yes. Yeah, good job remembering to release them. <laughs> the last trick in this video we're going to show you is find it. So the idea is there's two objects, uh, or even one object it says on this list, uh, under a cup or a plate. Uh, you're basically just going to put a treat under there and let the dog use its nose to smell out where this um, treat is. Once the dog either taps the plate or smells it intensely, uh, flip the plate over or the cup over and give them the treat. Um, so yeah, the idea is they're just looking for it. So you can use one cup, one plate, or two or more, uh, but have fun with this one. Yeah, good. This is find it. Okay. 
So the treat is under this one. Bug. Hey. Bug. Here. He's surfing right now. Here. Bug. Oh no. <clears throat> He's fine anyway. Right Resuming. Ready? Yes, good 